Hey everyone, it's Carrie, your Tushy enthusiast, and today I'm going to show you how to install a Tushy Classic. And I'm actually installing this Classic for a friend today in his bathroom, and so follow along and then you could do this at home. If you look inside your tushy kit, you'll see these following items. Obviously, your beautiful, amazing tushy bidet. And then you also have a mega adapter, plumber's tape, and two rubber washers. You'll also see a long steel flexible hose, as well as instruction manual and the cute little printout of how to use the tushy. In addition to the entire Tushy kit, you need a flathead screwdriver and a towel just in case you have some water leakages and messes that you need to clean up. And I also use a towel to screw in different parts of the Tushy too. Step zero, please clean around your toilet, clean the pee off your toilet. You're gonna get super up close and personal with your toilet, so might as well take this opportunity to clean it. First step is always, always, always to turn off the water supply to the toilet. Whenever you're installing your tushy, you're gonna be unattaching things, attaching things, and before you do any of that, you wanna make sure that the water is turned off so you don't end up flooding your bathroom. So first step, turn the water supply off. So the water supply for your toilet is usually right underneath the tank and attached to the wall. And for most people, it's simply like turning a knob, turning a lever, and then your water supply is turned off. You should turn your water supply knob all the way to the right, but be careful. If it's crusty, just do quarter turns left and then right, just to jostle free any possible mineral buildup. Bada bing, bada boom. So now that you've turned the water off, it is time to make sure that the water is indeed turned off. So always do the secondary check. So you do this by flushing two times. The first time is going to clear the tank of water and the second flush is to confirm that the water tank is indeed empty. So we're gonna flush once. All right, and now the second flush is going to make sure that the tank is empty so it shouldn't flush at all. Nope. All good. Time to take off your toilet seat. There's all kinds of toilet seats out there and this one is a plastic mounted quick release seat. Don't worry if yours doesn't look like this. We have videos for the conventional toilet seat and even metal mount quick release seats. Just check the video description for the links. All right, so to remove this seat, just twist the knob in the unlock direction to release. And then do the other one. Voila. And then you just take off the toilet seat and put it aside because you won't need it until you're ready to put the tushy on. So this quick release toilet seat is a little bit different than most toilet seats. So on most toilet seats, you basically unscrew the screw first and then you can remove the toilet seat. But this one, you actually remove the screw second. So this is where your screwdriver comes in. On all toilet seats, you will actually have like a nut I guess in like a nut of a bolt underneath the screw. And so what I like to do is always use one hand to hold the nut on the bottom of the toilet seat screw. So as I'm twisting off, it kind of just falls into my hand. All right, and then you keep twisting until this is the nut that I'm talking about, until it comes out. Now put this somewhere where you can remember it. And then repeat with the other side. Oh no. Step four, it's time to set up your water connection. And you do this by getting the mega adapter from your Tushy kit. So what the mega adapter does is it simply splits the clean water that is coming from the wall, that is it coming into your toilet, it splits it into two ways. So it splits it going into the toilet, then also it allows it to go into your tushy. And this is how the clean water washes your butt. The same water that you brush your teeth with and that you wash your face with. 
And now this is where the first part of the towel comes in. I always use a towel to help me loosen this because it really hurts your hands. So I've got my towel and a trick about this uh, screw is always turn right. It's the opposite rule of righty tighty lefty loosey. This is actually righty loosey lefty tighty. So I've got my towel and then I'm going to twist. I'm gonna detach the water connection to the toilet tank. And there's usually some leftover water in here, so don't be alarmed, it's all good. Now, take your mega adapter, and now you're going to just simply screw it onto the existing connection. It's in tight, and now you're going to attach this, the mega adapter, to the tank. And since it's righty loosey, lefty tighty, you're gonna be turning left. You're almost there, I promise. This is the hardest part. Now, you get the steel flexible hose, and both ends are the same. So, just take one of the ends and screw it onto the mega adapter. And this one is actually righty tighty lefty loosey. In the fifth step, you're going to connect the tushy and then install it onto the actual toilet. The first part of it is on the other end of your flexible steel hose, you're gonna attach that to the backside of your tushy. And you just screw it on just like how you screwed it onto the mega adapter. All right, make sure it's nice and tight because this is where your water is actually gonna be flowing into the tushy. Now take your two rubber washers and line them up on the holes of your toilet seat. And now you're going to line up your sliders on your tushy so that it matches the holes on the toilet. Make sure to leave enough room between the nozzle and the toilet bowl for the nozzle to be able to swing back and forth. And now, you take your toilet seat screws, stick it through, toilet seat screw number two, stick it through where your tushy needs to be, and then put the nut underneath and you're going to use a screwdriver to screw it back in. Sometimes when you're screwing, you can get a little carried away and then this happens. Don't do this. Now you're gonna put the toilet seat back on fit it over the screws and clasp it back into the lock position. Now it's the moment of truth. This is where you turn the water back on, you see if there's any leaks or not, and then you can start using your bidet. All right, turning the water back on. There's no leaks. And you're done. See, it was so easy to install the Tushy Classic. If I can do it, literally any of you can. And now you've got yourself a booty spa right at home. You can wash your booty with this fresh water instead of having to wipe it with TP anymore. Lucky you. And if this is your first time using a tushy, I would suggest checking out our video, How to Use a Bidet, before you begin. Well, that's it for now. So I hope you guys enjoy your tushy and please leave in the comments if you have any more questions about the installation process or if you have anything to say at all. Well, that's it, happy pooping. And make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel so you never miss any of these bootalicious videos ever again. We talk about everything from tushy products to booty health to bathroom sustainability and everything in between the cheeks. Anyways, have a great day and check out some of those videos. Stay safe, everyone.